Hello, Team Churchill. I'm going to show you how to install Discord on an Android device. So the first thing you need to do is go to your apps. You need to open up the Play Store. And then you need to search for Discord. There it is. And then install. Once it's installed, press open. And Discord should start to open on your phone. And if this is the first time you're installing Discord, then you will need to register a new account. If you've already installed it on your laptop or your iPad or your desktop computer, then obviously you can just log in with the information that you set up. But I'm going to go through the registration progress, uh, process just to show you. So if you click on register. Okay, so this is the registration form. So the first thing it wants is a username. So I'm going to click on, uh, type in Mr. N. And then it wants um, an email address. Lovely, I've put this, uh, one of my school email addresses in there. You're going to need to pick a password. So put something in that you're going to recognize. I've hidden mine, obviously, because it's showing the letters and numbers. Then click next. Now it needs your date of birth. It's really important that an adult signs up for Discord. It's actually against the law to collect information from anyone under 13. So regardless of the content of the program you're signing up for, you're just not allowed to sign up for anything under 13 uh, if it needs your birthday. So I'm gonna put in my birthday. I haven't actually found any reason for the birthday yet, so they're not going to send you anything. Lovely. Create an account. Wonderful. So it wants me to add a server. So I'm going to need to add the school's Discord server to my... Um, to my Discord list. So I'm going to click at the bottom where it says join a friend on Discord because I've already got a link. SW68R2. Hooray! Well done. The Churchill School. Oh, that's me. Accept invitation. Brilliant. Wonderful, so now I'm on the server, what I need to do is I need to send a message to Mr. Newport with my unique PIN number in it. Now, as it says at the bottom there, you can't send a message until you're five minutes old, but I think you can send a direct message. So I'm gonna click on Mr. Newport at the top there, and I'm gonna send him a message. And in that message, I'm gonna put my child's name so Gary, Violet, class, and then my unique uh, PIN number that will have been sent to you. So 7653, there we go. I'm making that up, but it's fine. Press send. Lovely. So, so it's failed to send the message because I've actually got terrible signal, uh, but that will work for you at home. Um, once you send that message, it will come to me, I will verify that that's correct, that that's you, and then I will give you access to all the chat channels and the voice channels that you'll need for home learning. Once you have done that, uh, watch my next video about how to actually use Discord for home learning uh, later on, which will be really useful, and hopefully we can all start doing some remote learning using Discord, which will be great. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye.